Hello my loves and welcome back to my hair channel. If I sound stuffed up today, that's because I am. I have been dealing with the worst allergies over the past couple days. I was actually supposed to film yesterday, but my allergies were so bad that I couldn't do it. And I'm leaving to LA in a few days, so I'm trying to pre-film this. I was supposed to pre-film more videos than what I have right now, but unfortunately, mother nature kind of whipped my ass. So this is the last video that I'm going to be able to film before I go to LA. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to skip one week of uploading to this channel, which I have never done before. I've had this channel for three and a half years, and this is the first time I'm skipping a week. So I feel really awful about it. I'm so, so sorry. Life happens and these things are just out of my control. So I hope you guys really understand. And today's video is gonna be more of an easier video for me so that I can edit it quickly and get it up for you in time. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my current go-to wavy hairstyle. So this is a hairstyle that I've been doing since I pretty much dyed my hair brown in February. It's my go-to look, it's super easy to do, it turns up really beachy and boho and relaxed and undone, and that's what I love about it. A lot of you guys have been actually asking me what do I do to achieve my boho wavy hair look, and this video is basically gonna answer all of your questions. So without further ado, if you want to know what my everyday wavy hairstyle routine is, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is separate my hair in half. And I like separating it at about the crown area because I find that the hair that I have on top around my crown area is thicker than my bottom half. So all I'm gonna do is just clip this section away so it's not in the way. And then I'm gonna separate the bottom half into two again. Now, usually when I do these waves, I just do it on my natural hair when it dries. Obviously, since the Pravana smooth out treatment that I did, my hair is naturally much smoother anyway. But if you're working with naturally curly hair, I would recommend maybe just going over your hair quickly with a blow dryer just to smooth it out a little bit. That's just a quick tip. But if your hair is naturally wavy, this technique is just going to add more texture to your existing waves. Oh, and by the way, guys, thank you so, so much on all of your requests on my last video to have my mom come in and help me out in filming the perfection smooth out video so i will be doing that very very soon obviously i'm going to be out of town for the next week um so i'm going to film it sometime in may so hopefully a week or two after that i can get it up for you guys so you can learn more about the treatment okay so now that i have my hair split into two what i like to do is go in with a heat protectant and this is the bumble and bubble hair dressers invisible oil i love the stuff as you can see i'm almost out of it i already have another one on backup so what i like to do is just put one to two pumps in my hand massage it in my hands and just finger comb it through my hair and try to coat all of my hair as much as possible And then I like to work with one to one and a half inch sections of hair. And I have my T3 Whirl one inch curling barrel here. It's a clipless barrel and I have it set to between 290 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't really show the digital temperature, but it has these little lights that light up. So it's on the third setting. And I'm going to place my hair on the barrel and I'm not going to be curling the first two to three inches of hair at the roots. I'm going to start a little bit lower and just wrap the hair around the barrel like this. And I'm going to leave out the last inch or so of hair. I'm going to leave the hair on the curling barrel for about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to take the end of the curl and kind of extend it out so that it cools. And this is going to loosen up the curl and make it more of a wave. So that's what that would look like. And don't worry about the shorter pieces. If they don't, if they kind of fall out like that out of the curl, that's okay. It's just gonna add more texture to your waves. So for the next section, I'm gonna again pick up a one to one and a half inch section of hair. And then this time I'm going to curl it in the opposite direction. So the first section I curled away from my face. This section I'm going to be curling towards my face. And again, I'm leaving out the first two to three inches or so of the strand, 
wrapping the strand around the barrel towards my face and leaving out the ends. And I'm holding it for 10 to 15 seconds. And once the time is up, I'm releasing the curl and straightening out the curl. You don't want to pull too hard, but just enough so that the curl can set in a more straightened position. That way, when you let go of it, it's going to be a nice, relaxed wave instead of a curl. I'm going to repeat this step again with the remaining hair. And also notice that I'm not curling um, the section of hair too close to one another because I don't want it to be tight. So you want to leave a little bit of space in between. And when I stretch it out like this, I hold it for about five seconds. And then last section on this side. And when you wrap the section of hair around the barrel, don't worry about making it super straight or flat against the barrel. If it has a little bit of a twist to it, that's totally fine. In fact, it's, I prefer making each strand a little bit different. That way the hair has more of a boho natural texture. Okay, so this side is done and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so my bottom layer is done. I'm not going to touch it or finger comb it right now. I'm just going to let it cool off on its own before I do that. So while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I'm going to go and style the top part of my hair. And these sections of hair that are around my face, I always curl those away from my face because I find that that is the most flattering in my opinion. Okay, so now that all of my hair is styled, what I like to do now is just mess up the waves so they're not so perfect. And one of the products that I have been loving for that recently is the KMS Add Volume Root and Body Lift Spray. So basically what it is, it's a targeted lift and volume push-up spray. So you can spray it on your roots or on your hair to create extra body and just mess it up. Why isn't this? opening am i really that weak now <laughs> come on there we go so i'm just going to spray some into my hair and just mess it up with my fingers So as you can see, this product really messed up my waves and made them look a lot more like undone and chilled and I love that. I love the whole natural look. And to finish it off, this is optional if you guys are going to be outdoors in a humid environment. I really like using this product also by KMS. This is the Hair Stay Anti-Humidity Seal Spray. So what you want to do is you want to use this product after you've already styled your hair and applied all of your products. This is like the last product you want to apply to your hair and it kind of seals the hair and prevents humidity from getting into the hair strands and making your hair strands absorb all that moisture and create frizz. So I'm just going to spray this in my hair. This product also offers 24 hour weather proofing, which is amaze balls. So as you can see, this is what my hair looks like when it's done. I love that these products don't make my hair feel 
crunchy or dry or anything like that. My hair does feel like it has some texture to it, but it's still soft and you can still run your fingers through it. Okay guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm truly, truly sorry again that I will not have a video up for you guys next week. I feel so, so bad about it. So I really hope that you guys understand. In the meantime, if you do want to keep up with me and see what I'm up to, I will be posting all about my trip in LA on my Snapchat and Instagram. So you can follow me over there. My handle is Nikki Sky with three Y's for both of them. And if you're new to my channel and you like what I do here, it means so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one.